Today we're talking arpeggios. Now, arpeggios, we do not pronounce it like that, even though it's kind of fun. Arpeggios, and it's using the scale formulas. Now, if you haven't watched that video, I've just posted one about that. Please go in and watch it. It's uh, It'll help you with understanding the degrees of scale and the scale formulas that we are mentioning in this video as well. Now, arpeggios are basically a broken up chord. So when we have an actual chord, it's playing one, three, five, and eight using one, three, five, and eight all at the same time. So that can be done on a, a guitar, that can be done on a piano, that kind of thing. But when we have an arpeggio, it's a broken chord. So we're using one, three, five, and eight. I am a shining star. One, three, five, eight, five, three, one. And that can be used for any scale. I am a shining star. I am a shining star. So it usually has, no matter what scale, no matter what degree of scale, you can use the one, two, three, four scale formula function in order to understand how to do any arpeggio style. Why I've used this overlap, though, is because our arpeggios, when they're in overlap function, literally start with one, three, five, three, five, eight, five, eight, three, and so on and so forth. I just don't feel like singing that high in this video, but it overlaps. So this is using two octaves worth of notes. It's like going from C to C, then going from C to the next C. It's using eight and eight. It's using the 16 notes in order to create the arpeggio. Oh, stupid jokes. They're quite fun. But I challenge you, whenever you do your scales, doing your basic one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do your basic scale when you ascend and descend, and then immediately after, do a blueberry uh, triplet pattern of blueberry, blueberry, one. Or blueberry, blueberry one. If you add some rhythm notation to it, it becomes triple worth of the activity within one third of the amount of time. If you do your scale ascending, descending, and, and an arpeggio, oh, saying that back to back, and an arpeggio pattern, you'll get triple the activity and it will literally create a more fundamental activity as well. <laughs> Good luck.